Hey, Kyle Codes here. Um, today we're going to be going over loops and their basic functions. So let's create a new program called loops. Just remember that it can't start with a number. It has to be all uppercase letters. It has to start with a letter, no symbols, no other junk like that. So loops. Now, quit. What's the first thing you start your program with? If you said clear home, you were right. So let's start out with four loops. Coincidentally, it is the number four for the shortcut. So the first parameter is the variable, which in our case is going to be A. Then you put a comma, and whatever you're going to start, the base value will be. So let's say five. And now the second number is what you'll be going to, and we're going to say one. And the last number is what you'll be incrementing or decreasing um, A by each time it goes through the loop. So, since it's negative one, um, well, if you don't put anything there, it will increment it by one. And since five is greater than one, the loop would not work. Anyways, create two more lines and then put end on the last line. And let's just display the letter A. Second quit, program, L, I'm going to go down to loops, press enter, oh look, well, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, yeah, now let's edit it and change it to a while loop, experiment with that. So, I'm just going to delete uh, the for loop, and I'm going to put a while loop. Um, so while a is greater than zero. So as long as the value of a is greater than zero, it will keep displaying a. So let's see what will happen. Second, oh, uh, let's store zero to a just for demonstration purposes. So if you've seen my last video on variables, then you'll know what I'm doing right here. Second so quit, let's run it. Um, it didn't display anything because a is equal to zero. So I had to break it because it was displaying too many and it wouldn't load. <laughs> Anyways, you can press on to break it by the way. So second insert a minus one store to a. So let's put five in, or three. So three, two, one. See, pretty easy. So it will decrease it by one each time. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It doesn't look like there's any other things to go through for this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching the basics on loops. And please leave a comment, question, concern below. Thanks for watching.